Hello guys and welcome to this video and uh, what I wanted to do was to take a look at this uh, particular piece. Now uh, I did do an earlier comparison uh, with this, the newer uh, Amiga Seamaster Professional ceramic model um, and I did a bit of a side-by-side -side, but I don't think uh, I really did this piece justice for how substantial a watch it is and I thought I'd better take a look at this before it has to go back to its owner. So what we have here today is the Omega Seamaster Professional 300M Chronograph in 41.5mm size. Um, uh, it does come in a bigger size in the current ceramic uh, model and I think it may have uh, in the previous uh, iteration as well. Uh, model number will be listed below uh, and I think the MSRP for this previously was 4100 uh, or at least Joma shop lists it as 4100. I'll put the link below. Uh, now what we have here is the Amiga Caliber 1164 uh, and of course that is a, a slightly modified uh, ETA or Valjoux 7750, the very uh, well-used uh, chronograph automatic movement. Uh, now I'm pretty sure that this would be the highest grade available, the chronometer grade, because this is uh, um, calibrated to COSC uh, standards and you can see below the uh, Omega Seamaster Professional on the 3 o'clock position it does have chronometer on the dial. Uh, rhodium plated finish, 25 joules with 44 hour reserve. Uh, now this case of course is in 316 uh, steel, uh, 17 millimeter stick. Now you're always going to get a substantial thickness on any watch with this 7750 movement, you just can't make it very thin. So it does sit fairly prominently on the wrist, it certainly has wrist presence. Um, and it can be somewhat tricky, you think, to get uh, the sleeve over it. Uh, but because it does nestle a bit into the wrist with that conical case back, uh, I, I haven't had too much trouble getting my sleeves over this. Uh, certainly not as easy as the uh, standard non-chronograph uh, Seamasters, but you know, you still can do it. Uh, now, uh, helium escape valve, 300 meter water resistance, of course, uh, with all the uh, Omega uh, Seamaster 300 M's. Uh, and, and the dial here is the, uh, you know, the very well-loved uh, wave dial, uh, made famous uh, particularly by the Bond watch uh, uh, worn by Pierce Brosnan across uh, three or four movies. Uh, sapphire crystal with uh, anti-reflective coating only on the inside, which is uh, thought to be an advantage by many. Uh, a very nicely engraved case back there with the uh, uh, Seamaster, uh, you know, Seamaster logo. I'll turn it right side up. Uh, it's somewhat uh, upgraded in the newer model. Uh, Right, so it's kind of an upgraded look to it, uh, but you know, I think Omega really make a very nice, uh, very, very nice case back uh, with, with, you know, a very three-dimensional feel to it. Um, all right, so uh, unidirectional uh, rotating dive bezel, of course, uh, with a steel insert in this case. That's the, the main thing that gives rise to the ceramic and pre-ceramic uh, nomenclature that is so widely used and of course that very famous uh, well-known Omega Seamaster bracelet five link uh, multi-piece alternate brush and polish polish surfaces um, with a with a very nicely machined solid steel deployment and similar to the current model a very solid dive extension um, the, the slightly disappointing thing with the old bracelet, of course, is uh, that it had pin, uh, pin links uh, rather than the uh, upgraded screw, uh, screw links with the bracelet sizing uh, in the modern versions, which is really a much appreciated upgrade. All right, so, you know, what, what is it that I've enjoyed about this watch? Uh, really, I think on top of the... Uh, the already sporty look of a dive watch of the, the Seamaster Professionals. The addition of the chronograph feature, I think, really adds an extra layer of sportiness to it. And I, I think that's very obvious. Um, I think it's got that great Seamaster Professional design and bracelet. Uh, this one has that iconic 
wave doll which so many people love you know i i i like the lack of finish of the newer model as well but you know i also like the wave doll that they have very much um, no anti-reflective coating on the outside just on the inside which you know i think just gives a little bit more peace of mind uh, the newer model does have you know on the anti-reflective on the inside and the outside that gives people some worry that they might scratch the outside coating and then you can see a visible scratch you know you won't scratch the sapphire very easily at all nearly impossible but you can scratch the coating if it's on the outside one notable thing is it does have a very heavy winding rotor that that rotor uh, that gives the uh, automatic winding it is 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 a modified rotor is it's got extra weight and if you if you if you swing it in a certain way um, and get it moving it, it really g gets alive on your wrist you can feel it vibrating uh, I, I like it I, I think it gives a bit of life to the watch but some people may find that a bit distracting and probably uh, you know a, a negative to some people uh, it's just something I am noting here um, what's not so good well it is a very substantial watch and I think uh, at times I, I, I do feel it on my wrist and I, I do want to take it off because you know it is just feeling a little bit um, a little bit too much uh, on the wrist at times you know when it's a warmer day and you start sweating uh, you do notice this and and in, a, in an uncomfortable rather than a, a, a positive way uh, this is a, a watch that's just over 200 grams I think that is a that is a very substantial uh, watch and I, I would call that a heavy watch um, the steel bezel of course is a thing of the past uh, it's a ceramic insert now uh, which is much more uh, scratch resistant uh, if you look at older versions of these watches on sale secondhand watches uh, many of them will will come with markings and scratches on that insert so you, you know you can scratch that fairly easily as easily as any any steel surface uh, the pin bracelet is a disadvantage uh, compared to the modern uh, you know expectation really should be getting towards uh, screw construction to make it easier for individuals to size it themselves rather than needing a jewelers block lock uh, to size something like this bracelet uh, and of course with uh, the the Omega Seamaster professional bracelets no micro adjustment um, you know there's not even those little uh, adjustments you can do with a toothpick uh, in many uh, other dive watches or bracelets this this doesn't even have that uh, now there is a a alternative part that you can purchase uh, from Amiga that has a very nice push extension similar or I think it's exactly the same one in use in the planet oceans uh, I'll put the part number uh, you know uh, either in the description or as a caption on this video uh, but that that's there's a couple hundred bucks or, or 300 bucks I think last time I checked uh, a substantial addition to the cost of uh, of the watch uh, but some people swear by it some people say it's it's an absolutely essential uh, upgrade um, so there we have it you know the, it, it, it's you know it's a very sporty watch I've enjoyed the the looks of it um, you know the the, the chronograph uh, difference over the the base uh, uh, you know just the, the date model um, so you know that's it's not for everyone it's a substantial uh, uh, watch that weighs significantly heavier uh, than the base model uh, and it is a the standard value 7750 which which not everybody uh, will want to extend for you know there's already a few uh, watches I've got my hands on with that movement uh, so it's just another one of those uh, with the same movement no doubt a very reliable very well used very well respected movement uh, but still not something unique it's, it's just very ubiquitous um, so there we have it uh, there's a closer look uh, at the Omega Seamaster Professional uh, 300M in chronograph uh, and, and you know a few comments about uh, the differences again between this and the newer upgrades to, uh, to what we see in the ceramic models um, thank you again for watching guys give us a like uh, if you've enjoyed this video uh, and don't forget to subscribe uh, I'll see you guys in the next video cheers